and welcome to Underground Horror Radio on undergroundhorrorradio.com, Podunk Radio, uh, also on Podbean and Anchor FM. We're everywhere. So yes, time for another Halloween unboxing. Yes, we went back to our Halloween stuff here because of the uh, holiday, or pumpkin. It's almost done though. We only have so many days left to Halloween's over. So let's do this right. So first things first, we're going to open up some more pops. These aren't mine. These two are my wife's that I got for her. But she said for me to open them on the show. I'm not arguing with her. So first ones first is Vampire Jack. Now some of you may remember from last year when I opened up an actual figure from Diamond Selects of, of Vampire Jack. Tall, skinny, has a cape fang. So this is the pop version. Once again, pretty awesome. Uh, every year they always come up with something different. So this is cool. These are everywhere, though, by the way. I managed to snag this one at Walmart. Oh, it almost came out there. All right. Being a pop figure, they don't do much. He moves his head, kind of. Uh, he can't much because of the cape. Oh, the cape's with it. But yes, this is kind of cool. Vampire Jack. Vampire Jack Skellington. Ooh, look at me. I'm a vampire. That's pretty cool. I know I could I guess I could have opened them with the other ones, but I got them after. So, you know, it could have been like, hey, it's Dracula. Hey, it's Vampire Jack Skelling, and we're just hanging out doing vampire stuff. But anyway, so yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, he stands up, so my wife will be very happy with that. Like I said, she told me to open it, otherwise I wouldn't have fucking did it. I ain't getting hurt. And then this one's pretty cool, too. This is a Walmart-only exclusive. Uh, Chatterer from Hellraiser 3, which it's not, because he's not in Hellraiser 3. And none of the regular Cenobites are in Hellraiser 3. These are all, like, new ones. But I guess that's the licensing is for Hellraiser 3? Hell on Earth? Damn if I knew he was in it. But whatever. But yeah, he's cool. Uh, either way, despite what movie he may or may not be in, I know he's in Hellraiser at least one and two. Uh, yeah. And it's cool. You know? He's a chatter. He's a demon. You know? And this is back in the day where demons look like, uh, you know, rock stars and SMM people. Even that's kind of... That's what it looks like in the back of his head. I don't know why he's... Not green, but he's starting to fade, but whatever. But yeah, he's Chatterer. He's got his little uh, hooks and his face, no eyes. Yeah, he's cool. Not a bad. Let's see. Does he stand as good? Yes, he does. Now, I already have Pinhead, so this is awesome. So that's it for those. Uh, but I have one more, one more gift. This one's actually mine. Uh, so remember the uh, Mezco? Or was it Mezco? What was it? Mego? Mego Freddy Krueger with the clothes and the hat. All right, I did another one. It's not Jason, but it is another horror movie icon, classic of literature and movies, The Invisible Man. Huh? Cool. No, really, I'm psyched. This is cool. So this is The Invisible Man, uh, which is pretty neat. Let's open them up. Horror, ages 8 and plus. I'll give him credit for that. Because, you know, it's much different now than it was in the 80s where, uh, I mean, this isn't really 80s. This is way before that. This is way back. But uh, nonetheless, so he's got a cool glowing green, which you can't really, okay, so that's super green, so you can see why that's all green screened. But it's cool. Kind of, it glows, kind of reminds me of uh, Reanimator. And then uh, he's got glasses in his hands, which I don't uh, I might be able to take him out. I'm not going to right now. I guess you could put him on so you know he's there. And his hands and his face are completely like uh, white clear because he's invisible. And uh, I, I kind of like the effect for it because it would suck if there was like nothing there but no hands, no head. I mean, that's how he would look. But, you know, actually, I snagged his glasses. Let's try this. See if they sit on him. Freddy's hat did wonders. Eh, 
kind of got it on there. And I might be able to hold the beaker here. Let's see. Beaker. Hold the beaker. Come on. Do it. You did not do it. Try it now. Got it? Kinda. I'll take it. Ta-da! The Invisible Man. Now he looks cool with his glasses. That was, uh... I don't know what that was. Uh, so this bad boy was about 20 bucks. I got it at FYE, which is where I got Freddy. As well. And, uh... Let's see. Does he stand as good as Freddy did? I just gotta move his legs right. Stand his back up. Eh, he sits just fine. So yeah, these these stand up incredibly well. Once again, I think it's really cool. He's got his little beaker. He's he's got his suit and tie. I like it. I think it's cool. Again, I'm not really the biggest guy with these cloth figures, but I mean, him and Freddy are pretty tight. I have to say. And uh, uh now I can't stand him up with the ship. It's got bad feet. Come on. Worry about them later. Anyway, that's gonna. I think that's gonna do it for the unboxing. Uh, this is going out now. Saturday, this Saturday coming up is gonna be Mass, which is a huge event. Uh, that's once a month in downtown West Palm Beach. It's this time. It's gonna be upstairs at Voltaire. It's gonna be a uh, Moonfest event, uh, vampire den or lair, whatever. So we're going to have everybody dress up as vampires, wear your best costume. It's going to be lots of fun. Music by DJ Jason. All kinds of cool stuff. You saw the thing earlier. Here's a quick little poster of it. It zooms in. Or it clears, see? Cool. Anyway, so that's what's going on this weekend. Next Thursday, a week from tomorrow, is fucking Halloween. So we got to pump out some more of these videos. But uh, thank you for watching. Vampire Jack says goodbye. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Those are about eight bucks a piece. The pops, eight or nine. And uh, Invisible Man was 20, which isn't bad for one of those cool Mego figures. Uh, again, it's a little bit different than, say, the expensive Nico ones like Jason here. But uh, yeah, totally worth it. If you're a collector, I think you'll like it. So anyway. Bye. And try not to have too much fun.